All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody is excited for this lovely morning, week before Thanksgiving. How's everybody doing? Just give me a chat back and say hello, hello. See if everybody can hear me loud and clear. Everybody on YouTube, Facebook Live, good to see you all. Good to see you. Andrea, good, good, good. William, Bill, everybody. All right, good. Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's going to be a really busy week. Hopefully, uh, when, when you logged in this morning, you'll notice that uh, we, we did a big little update today. Um, we actually launched our new website and a new portal page. It was a long process to do that. And hopefully everyone is going to see it. We're trying to make things a lot more smoother. I know we're already getting requests. Some people asking about emojis and stuff. We're going to do that in the chat room. I'm telling you, we're working on it. We're trying to make a very smooth transition. We don't want to confuse anybody. We're trying to make things more simpler so you guys can learn faster, make things a lot easier. And we're just staying up with the, with the times. But, uh, if you all get a chance, you can thank uh, Marv Sison. Uh, Marv is uh, is head of here at Cybertrain University of Web Development. He's a webmaster, so he had a lot to do with it. So uh, I'd like to give him a round of applause. Thanks a lot, Marv, for all your hard work. And uh, hopefully everyone's enjoying it. Once again, if you have any feedback, feel free to email us. Let us know if there's anything, you have any issues or whatever. But um, hopefully you have it, and hopefully it works out better. All right. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Thanks, everyone. Uh, I, I have another station that I want to share with you guys. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, but if you go to, I have a another station on YouTube, and it's right here. And uh, if you guys ever want to get to uh, look at it, it's pretty cool. I show you how to make homemade sauce, canned tomato sauce. So I'm not going to play. It's a great video. You can see it's actually got don't really, that many hits, but I got 90 likes. Okay, good hands up. So go out there, share it. I think you'll like at it. And it's another... Another hobby that I have, actually. So what I do is I trade and, you know, and I, I'm a big uh, horticulturalist and gardening and 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 I love to cook. So I'll have some cook, uh, some, some, uh, I'm going to kind of build up this station up a little bit more. So feel free to go there, like it, watch it. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Pretty cool job. Once again, the greatest thing about being a trader is that you can go out there and do all the hobbies that you liked. And make good money doing it where it's not a full-time job. You know, I'll be honest, I feel bad. I had people I've been working in my house and doing some construction and so on. And I tell you how hard these people work to make 200, 300 a day, which is pretty good money. And you're making it in a couple of minutes. It's almost embarrassing to say anything about it. Because I get people like, they're building these homes across the street from me. And and, and the general contractor is like, what does this guy do all day? You know, you see me outside cutting branches maintaining the the garden and stuff like that and uh always coming in and out and i'm like oh yeah i worked i worked this morning and i worked this afternoon so just want to get kind of let you guys know that trading is not a full-time job and hopefully everybody's enjoying it and this is a really important time for all of us because thanksgiving is coming around and there's no better time than to just make your money early and get ready for the for the holidays that are coming up so that's awesome all right anyway uh, let's get to the fun part of it, right? That's why we're all here, right? We hear about trading, right? So anyway, a couple of good stocks that are moving. We're going to talk really quick about this DPW, uh, um, the, uh, the DPW biggest percentage gainer right now on the exchange. It's not up huge. It's up about 43%. You know, we always find stocks up 100, 200, 300%, but it's not bad. I mean, we, we found this morning around eight o'clock this morning. If you, everyone got in around 270, you're looking pretty good right now. You can see it's got great tier sizes. Great volume. A um, lot of algos going on, though, in that stock right there. You can see on the level three on the right-hand side, and you don't even want to know what I see on level four. Uh, level four, uh, this stock obviously is having, you can see it's got some big supports and resistance levels here. A lot of these orders have been out there for a little while, so I'm a little cautious about that. I'm, I'm really concerned about this 43,000 share buyer right here at three bucks, and this guy out of here at 318 for 55,000. He's been out there for a while. But listen, it's Monday, right? What do we know about Mondays? It's not always, you know, not a lot of news comes over the weekend, not a lot of excitement going on. There are a couple of good stocks are on this list. We're going to check them out. But before we do that, let me just talk about what happened on Friday. So Friday was a couple of good stocks that we had trade. Solo is one of them. And Solo has not only been a great day trade, but it's been a phenomenal swing trade. This stock right here, like we were just trading at $3. It went to 13. It started getting a little nasty, but listen, electric stocks are hot. I mean, I'm just watching on the financial station on Fox Business. They were talking about how Ford came out with their, could you believe it, an electric Mustang? Come on. I mean, really? I mean, they're doing great. We're doing good on our swing trades. Neo did great. 
all these swing trades has just been doing great. Um, uh, these electric cars. I mean, listen, people looking at it like I can't afford Tesla. Tesla has, is almost breaking all time highs. Okay. And that's with the reverse stock splits and everything else. I mean, they basically have a huge head start over everybody else. But anything that has to do with it is doing great. Listen. I'm a big fan. Look at f -Cell. F-Cell is killing it right now. There's another stock that we've been trading on a swing trade. And it's been doing great on a day trade. Look at that. All week last week, $2.50. Stock already went to $5. Nikola, okay? I'm a big fan of, you know, um, hydrogen cars. I'm not a big fan of electric cars. I like hydrogen um, because we have so much water in this world. But hydrogen, I mean, there's not that many co companies out there right now. But but not, uh, this stock took a huge hit. You know, we own this stock right around 20 bucks. We, we, we And a lot of us, we saw that big support. And the stock obviously has a nice little run-up. We're doing pretty well on this one. So all these stocks are doing great. All these electric stocks. <clears throat> Solar stocks started backing off a little bit. I'm not really seeing the excitement too much out there. But anything that has to do with the batteries, all that stuff, they've just been doing great. There's a, Like I said, there's also a couple other ones too. AYRO is another stock that we traded that also did phenomenal last week. Stock went from 3 to $9. That was a big win up for last week. SPI. You'll remember this stock. This stock still today, I think, is hands down the best stock here at Cyber Train University that we traded for the year. This stock went from a dollar to about 50 bucks in uh, one day. That was the most scariest, craziest stock I ever made. I mean, I, I, I chickened out. I'll be honest with you. I owned it at nine and I sold it at 13 and uh, it ran to 45, but I, it was like moving like three, four dollars in, in, in a minute. It was crazy. But uh, that but that was another stock that was good for Friday. We had some fun trading that stock also. Sun W also had a nice little push lately. We've been trading Sun W last couple of days. It's not only been a good swing trade, but it's also been a good day trade. And KI, um, just last one, I'm going to bring this one up. The, uh, the KXIN last week on uh, Friday was also awesome. I mean, uh, you could see that stock was at around a dollar, ran to 13. She's gapped up pretty big right now from six to eight. She was great on Friday, and you know what? She's doing good right now. So I put this on the watch list, but she's not on the A list. She's on the B list. All right. So let's go through the watch list and see what we got going on. We got a couple of stocks that are moving uh, this morning. So we, we all know about the DPW. Now, DPW, uh, it is testing this buyer right now at $3. I could see right here. Uh, you see him right here for 50. You could see him right here. This guy right here. It's testing that support level right there, which is this guy right here. So we'll see how that happens right there for holds on. Um, he's been out there since 9 o'clock this morning. So it looks like he just added to his shares. I don't know if he's refreshing, though. I haven't watched the time in sales, but we're going to keep an eye on it. But that stock is obviously, it's holding pretty strong right here. So we're going to keep an eye on that one. Another stock that's on the A-list. BK. Y I, okay, another stock that so 0.3 percent, 1.8 million shares. But please keep in mind, it's a penny stock. A lot of you who who's here uh, when I did the event with uh, last week with Tom Sosnoff. And the reason why I'm bringing him up because you know here's another big guru in the industry of options. A lot of you were okay. Remember what he's talking about when, when we brought up a penny stock? He, he was like, he hates penny stocks more than I hate penny stocks. Okay. Actually, I, I don't know who will hate him even more, to be honest with you. But as soon as I brought it up, he just totally like, I don't even go there. And, you know, but as a day trader, there's sometimes we do trade them. And, you know, and there are times when you don't want to trade them. Just we all know what the story and what, what, what a penny stock is. So you got to be really, really careful with that. I know that there's some people that are big fans of them that, that teach people how to do it. I hate them. 
I don't know. Listen, there's 25,000 stocks out there. Why you got to deal with penny stocks? And it's not that I'm, I'm not being prejudiced or racist against them. It's just that you're losing a lot of the technology that comes behind it. You don't, they're, they're, they're non-reporting companies. There's a whole story behind. There's a reason why they're called a penny stock. And by the way, penny stock doesn't mean that they're in the pennies. You could see even a $3 stock could be, uh, could be called a penny stock. By the way, the, um, the buyer back in, uh, in uh, DPW looks like heating, heating the buyer outbeat the seller right now at three dollars. So it's starting to go back up. So if you got it at three right now, you're doing pretty well. Right now it's at three ten thousand shares, hundred bucks. Tell you, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Okay, what else we got going on right here? We go. Oh, we got G Tech. G Tech also looks pretty good. We traded that a couple of uh, a couple of days ago. We we're from three to ten dollars in one day. Just got a nice little Fausta flag going on right now. That one looks pretty decent. I want to keep an eye on that. APXT. Let's go back on the B list. <clears throat> we all know that the B list obviously means that they could still move. They could still move. Um, it's just that they're not the ones that look like they have the most action, like what you're seeing in the DPW right now. Sometimes all of a sudden the market opens up and they take off. Remember we, we talked about this one, uh, the K, uh, the KXIN. It's going back on my watch list, but the reason why it's on the B list, well, it hasn't gone anywhere in pre-market, and that's what kind of like. We can move it to the A list, the B list. Same thing with IDEX. It's gapped up. Okay, it's gapped up nicely. It's up thirty-one percent. Sixteen thousand shares. It was a great day trade. It's starting to turn into a little bit more of a swing trade. Nice little cheap stock. Good spread. Looks like she just made a little bit of a, a U right here. A little, a little, what they call a, a little valley, what we call. Went about 10 cents, came right back. Probably some big selling just came in. Some guy wanted to take some profits. And then the AYRO, we're going to put that one on the watch list. Oh, look at that. She just tanked from nowhere. Wow. Okay, look at that. You know what? You know, that right there, just to point out, that happened to us the, uh, last week on one stock, but I think it happened in solo. But that's just bad luck. You're in a position, you're looking good, and the stock goes from 940 down to 820 like that. That's why I'm always a fan. It's like, listen, take the money and run. Don't get greedy, you know, because this does happen. And you being in the cyber group room, hopefully everybody learned that, that this could happen, that, you know, sometimes you could be in a in a, in a, in a big drop like that and you, and you freak out and you sell it and all of a sudden thing goes down on you. You just got to be careful of that. So... That's basically our watch list for the morning. Now, listen, it's Monday. We're going to Thanksgiving. I'm not expecting it to be a very crazy Wednesday afternoon. I think a lot of people are going to be taking off. But with COVID, where is everybody going? I don't think everybody's running to the stores or jumping on an airplane. So I, I expect it to be a very unusual, unorthodox type of Wednesday compared to most Wednesdays up before Thanksgiving. And for some of you who don't know that, here in the United States, it's probably the biggest holiday of the year. But apparently our local governments uh, are forcing people not to celebrate Thanksgiving uh, with big, big events. So I don't know. There'll probably be a lot more turkeys for sale. People working at home. Then I could be, I don't know what's going to happen, but I expect it's going to probably not. It, it should be a pretty decent day on Wednesday. And then same thing with Friday. Friday's a half a day. So Friday's pretty cool because people just like to come in there. They bang it out. What's ever moving. It's just basically, you know, it's like open and close. So if you've never been saw that, you're going to like that. All right. A couple things before we go and get ready for the open. I know we have a lot of new members that are starting this week. We had a big event last week, two big events, and we got another one that's coming tomorrow. Uh, we're doing with tra uh, tra uh, timing research. So uh, hopefully everyone coming and join us. If you're watching YouTube, Facebook Live, you could just join us right on our homepage. We also, uh, if you're new here and you're starting this week here at Cybertrain University, all I could tell you is do not trade what we're trading. Just look, listen, and learn. Don't count my money. See if all the traders are out there doing well. That's how you know if trading's for you or not. It's not about the guy who runs the room. It's about the people we train and see how they do. So you'll find out the real truth about day trading and swing trading. Uh, but I'd like to welcome you all being here. Uh, I think you're going to be quite impressed and quite shocked. And you know what? All your questions are going to be answered to know if trading, you know, you, is for you or not. You know, you'll, you'll be the judgment of that. But make sure you talk to your education advisor. Make sure he shows you exactly what's going on. And then also remember, we did launch our new website. If you did log in late, today was uh, was the launch. We actually launched it on Friday. Hopefully, you guys sit back. I think I hope you everyone's going to enjoy it. Um, your feedback is always appreciated. 
All right. So anyway, that's what we got going on. Let's go out there and make money. Um, if you're watching YouTube, Facebook Live, just like us, friend us. And we'll see you back here at 2.30. Everyone here in the cyber group room, we'll see you back. Uh, we'll start commentarying uh, right after the market opens up. All right. So enjoy. Fasten your seatbelts. Just remember, don't get too cocky on a Monday. This is not a hump day. By the way, a big seller of 100,000 shares just came out on the offer on uh, DPW. Hopefully, you guys saw that because that's why it came back down. I don't know if you saw that. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be safe, and we'll see you back here in a little bit.